Stay tuned to see what I create with March Club Couture Transfer of the Month. Well, hello everyone. My name is Deborah, and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalking Creations. And I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture. And today's project, I'm going to be using March Club Couture Transfer that is exclusively for club members and for designers. But before I start my project with this transfer, I wanted to tell you a little bit about Club Couture. For $19.99, you receive your monthly transfer. It's a size B transfer. You also receive three coordinating paste packets and that gets shipped to you for free. You will also, it will also include a designer sheet gives you a suggested idea of how to use a transfer and also written instructions on how to use the transfer. Then, as a club member, any orders you place after you become one, you get one flat rate low shipping. As of right now, it's $4.95. That is a phenomenal deal, let me tell you. And you get exclusive offers and special promotions for club members only. And this month's club member special, while supplies last, is this bunny transfer. This regular, you'll get 50% off of this if you are a club member. It's the Floral and Words Bunny. It's regularly $24.99, and club members would be able to get this transfer for 50% off while supplies last, only for the month of March. So if you're not a club member, be sure to sign up. I will post a link below down in the description box. So that way it can give you, uh, and you click on that link, it will give you information about Club Couture and you'll be able to sign up. And also, when you sign up with me, I will send you a mini squeegee complimentary. So that way when you get your transfer and your three paste packets, you can just go ahead and start on your creative journey. This is an excellent way to get started. This is where I started in a bundle pack. And uh, I really enjoyed it a lot. So, enough of me talking about it. Let me get started on the project. This is our new product. It's the board and base. This is a reusable surface. Okay, It can go either horizontal or vertical. It's just like the black one, except for they now have with a white surface. It's double-sided. So I'm going to be using this today. Any of the products, as long as they are available, because a lot of things have sold out, I will go ahead and post a link below. It's an edible shopping cart link. So that way... If you see any of these products, and like I said, if they're available, then you just go hop shop there. If you want to add something to your cart, you want to subtract something from your cart, you can do that. So I will have that in there. I will be also using the mini squeegee, and I will also be using the multi-tool. I love this little tool. This is the March transfer, and the uh, paste packets you're going to be receiving. Now, these are the jars. I'm going to be using the jars. It would be eucalyptus. Candy Apple Red, and Storm, Storm Gray. So those are the colors in the packets you're going to be receiving in your kit, and these are the colors I'm going to be using today. I will also be using some stir sticks because I'm, uh, I already stirred these, but I want to take a little bit out because I'm going to do a little freehand art. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And here's a fuzzing cloth. Now, when you first receive your your club transfer, it's going to come in this plastic sleeve, okay? And it is uh, reusable or resealable. And it also has some instructions on here to use your transfer and how to care for it. Be sure to keep that because you can use it for storage. So I'm going to set that aside. All right, and then your transfer, as you can see here along these lines. Now, this is a mesh screen transfer. And they are reusable. Um, Chalk Couture says they're usable eight to ten times. And some designers, they've gotten a little bit more use out of that. So these are reusable. But you just go ahead and cut along the lines here of the ones that you are going to be using. This is just absolutely adorable. There are so many elements in here you could use on its own. And I'm going to be using, um, like I said, that board and base, and it's going to be two-sided. I'm going to do a design on one side. I'm going to do a design on the other side. So I will be using the barn. You could also do it as a she shed, I suppose, if you'd like. 
and I will be using the windmill. So I will cut that one off. I am not going to be using these today, I don't think. No, I won't be using these today. So, I'm going to set this one aside so that way I can put that in my envelope. Now, before I use my transfers, you want to mark on the back of them the Sharpie marker. So that way you know what side, which transfer goes with what, which backing sheet. And I'll explain the reason for that in a bit. Burn. I'm going to do an arrow. You can put a mark on there. You can write it on there, whatever you would like to do. Okay. I'm going to do wind. Home. Okay. Home. All right. Now, before you um, get started pasting on your surface, you need to fuzz. And why that is, okay, this, I'm going to do this one first, the freehand one first, because I think that one's going to take a little bit more time. But you want to fuzz your transfer. But in order to do that, you need to take it off the backing sheet. Now, why you mark this is because this is the mat side, and your backing sheet that your transfer adheres to after you clean it is on the shiny side. So that way, if you're in a hurry, you're not paying any attention, you don't adhere it to the wrong side. And then just peel it off. Now, these are sticky, okay? And why you want to fuzz it is, so that way it is not so sticky to where when you put it on your surface, it could possibly stretch and distort your screen transfer. So you just want to fuzz it a couple of times. Because this has a little bit of surface to it. But if you're going to put this on glass or anything really smooth, I would definitely, like, or on cardstock even if you wax it, I would definitely fuzz it several times. But I think two or three times that is going to be pretty good. So this board and base does have some depth to it, as you can see there with the base. So that way I'm not pasting and hiding part of my design. I'm going to lay this on, leave it in the base so I can kind of size this a little bit. And what, how I want to do this. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, and then I'm going to remove my base. And then what I do is I put my finger in the middle. I go up, down, and side to side. And then I smooth things over with my hand. If you like, you can use your mini squeegee to go over just to make sure that you have good contact with your surface. And why you do this is because you want to make sure there aren't any little lint fuzzies, any like wrinkles or little air bubbles there that will prevent you from having good contact with your surface. So that, I'm going to use that one, and I'm going to use the little windmill. I'm going to put the windmill up here. I'm going to go that way, I think. And then my goal is to try to make hand paint a little triangle stand. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> so, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and fuzz this one first. That way it is ready to go. And I only need, like I said, I only need to do this a couple times to take some of that stickiness off. All right, I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to take my towel and I'm going to set that aside for right now. Um, I'm going to lay this on a towel because it is smooth on the, the back side. It can slide, so that way it's not sliding as much for me. Now I'm going to be, I've already pre-stirred my jars of paste. I'm going to use red for the barn, I'm going to do gray for the doors, and I'm going to do gray for the roof. So right now we need the red and the gray. And I'm going to need a little bit of gray out when I do the windmill. All right, so I'm going to use my mini squeegee on the red. It's very simple. Your mini squeegee has a bevel side. You just 
when you get your paste packets, this is a little plate that I have. If you have like a little extra plate of foam, you know, a foam tray or something like that you like to use and put your paste out on there, by all means you could do that. And you just dip it in there to get enough coverage on your squeegee. And then, because of the shape of it, I'm going to kind of turn it aside. And then all you do is you spread it on. You want to try to be as generous as possible. I might have to do my multi-tool here. Now some of these uh, paste and inks do stain your transfer. There is nothing wrong with that. That is perfectly normal. So don't think your transfer is ruined. That is not the case. And red will definitely stain your transfer. And you want to put this on. Now you can do this all one color. I'm kind of making this maybe a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. But I'm just trying to give you some inspiration, some ideas of what it is that you can do with these transfers. If you did it all one color, I'd probably be done by now. But I'm trying to get this in certain areas. So it's going to take me a little bit longer, but I wanted to show you, you can do this. It is easy. But yeah, that's that's a good deal as a club member with those bunny transfers. And I will be doing a project with those. I'm going to be experimenting in my group um, with those. So if you'd like to join my uh, small Facebook group, you're welcome to do that. I will post a link there. And I also have an email list if you'd like to sign up for it. I will post a link down for that also. So that way I can let you know of restocks and, and uh, things like that. All right, now that I have that on there, I want to make sure I go over this, that it has a good even coat. It's not too thick in some areas. All right, I'm going to set that there. I'm going to go to my multi-tool with the gray. I'm going to have to move a little quick here. I don't want this drying. I'm going to do the gray here at the doors and for the roof. Now you could do your barn gray if you like to. You could do it the eucalyptus green. I love that color. But I figured I would do it this way. These are the color choices I chose. Like I said, you could do it all one color if you would like to. Scrape off the excess. I'm going to go up here to the roof. I love this tool. This is one of my favorite tools. And I love the reusable surfaces. Because when you want to change it out, all you have to do is clean it off. And then you're done. All right, and now we're going to peel and reveal. Pull it from the corners. You start and then you slowly lift up. And there is your burn. That is absolutely adorable. It does have a couple of little distressing dots on it. That is, I don't know if you can see that, those little light spots. That is part of the transfer. You can see there's a couple of spots there, hopefully. Hopefully you can see that. Oops, I got red paste on me. Now, um, you should clean your transfer right away, but seeing I'm in the middle of a project, I do have an extra towel here, and I laid my transfers down sticky side onto the towel and then I get a spray bottle and I spray it down to try to keep that mesh screen moist so I get it to the sink so that way the paste does not dry into the mesh screening. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to get my little dryer here. You can use a hair dryer. Um, or you can just let it air dry if you like, if you just want to do the barn on there. 
but I want to do a little windmill. So I before I put that transfer down, I do need to dry this a bit. It's really cute. I like that. And if you have other paste packets um, or other colors of paste, you could do whatever color you like. But I wanted to use the ones that came with your kit. Or not your kit, but your club transfer. And I can't get over that shipping rate. And you get the ship to your house for free. You get you get your club transfer, your three coordinating paste. You get that ship for free. And any orders you place, once you become a club member, you get that one low rate shipping of four ninety five. That's the U.S. citizens. That is that is a really great deal. Okay, I'm gonna be courageous to stick my finger on here. And see if that nothing comes up. All right, that's good. All right. Let's see. I've got a little paper towel here. I'm going to spritz this so I can clean off my squeegee. This is Candy Apple Red. That is an appropriate name. Actually, I'm going to need to take this to the sink. Give me one moment. My apologies. Now I'm going to use the windmill. Now I've already fuzzed it so that way it's not as sticky. I'm going to figure out my placement here. I think I'll do it right there. Okay, like I said, finger forward, forward. I'm going to spread it out. My hands are still a little wet. Let me finish drying off my hands. <laughs> Okay. Now you do not have to do this if you don't want to. You can just leave the windmill up there. Okay, I am done with the red, so I'm going to put the cap on there. That way it does not dry out. I'm going to use eucalyptus for the windmill. And I'm going to use my mini squeegee. Now I've already pre-stirred these. And generously apply some. That way you know you have good coverage. Scrape off any excess on your plate or your surface. Then scrape the excess off till you see some of the design. That way you know you have good, even coverage. And then you peel and reveal. Start your corners and go in the middle. How cute is that? Like I said, you could leave it just as is, but I thought, oh no, I'm gonna try a little freehand art here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spritz this. I'm not gonna be using that one again. Let me redo my my burn there. And just put the lid back on here. Let's see, I'm gonna get an extra, extra wet wipe. Wipe this off before it has a chance to dry in there. Okay, I'm going to set that one aside. Now I'm going to get some of the gray. And I have a little stir stick here. I'm just going to put a little bit of the gray out on my plate. Now you can wash these. I will also add these to the edible cart if you would like to uh, get any of those. I have my little paint paint jar here. I'm going to get my paintbrush wet. Is this the right one I used? Oh, no. I think that's the wrong one. I've got two paintbrushes here. One I'm going to use for, I'm going to do like little grass, and then I want to try to, now you can paint with the paste, just add a little bit of water. I don't want it too thin because then it's going to run. Let's give this a go. Now, if you feel more comfortable, I'm, I'm not drying this just yet because I'm going to try to freehand this. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. All right. And I'm not going to go all the way to the roof line because it is the same color. And it's not perfect. <clears throat> Perfectly straight. But <coughs> Excuse me. All right. 
that's a little too watery. A little bit more thick. Hmm. All right. Like I said, you can I you can just use it as is, but I thought this would make a nice little element. And I'm just gonna freehand paint it. You can use tape if you like to make your lines perfectly straight if you'd like to copy this idea. Me, I just kind of wing it. better with a shorter one. Let's try. But yeah, this is just to give you some inspiration and ideas of what you can do with your club transfer. This is for March. I like that. Okay, that will work. And then it needs some kind of structure support, so I'll just do a diagonal. Okay. And diagonal. Oop, that's too watery. Way too watery. A little paper towel. Just soak that up. Try to straighten that out, smooth that out a little bit. And there you go. I think that's pretty cute. Now, I'm gonna go back to my eucalyptus here. Okay, I need another stir stick. I'm not gonna need that much of this. I'm put a little bit out. Yeah, I want that paintbrush, what I do here. I'm going to use this one, this paintbrush. I'm going to add a little water. Not much. That way it's a little bit more flowy. And I'm just going to do little things of grass, little tufts of grass. It's too much water. Put some over here by the burn. Yeah, I need a little bit more paste. I got this too watery. It's not quite as watery as I would like it to be. So need a little bit more paste. Okay, let's try that. Just pure put a few little blades of grass here and there. Do a little bit in the front door. I think that's cute. 
Yeah, I think that's good. And there we go. You've got yourself a little piece of art. Doesn't have a saying on there or anything. Now I'm going to make sure this is good and dry. Before I turn it over on the other side. Yeah, that one's a little... I might have to redo this, this one right here. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay. Easy fix. I thought that was a little too watery. This is a disinfectant wipe. So I just went ahead and scraped that off. Make sure that my brush is dry. Get a little bit more paste on there. And there we go. But I want to make sure that this is good and dry before I flip it over on the other side. So yes, you can create a piece of art with your club transfer. I think that is just cute. i make sure this is good and dry. Feels like it. I think we're all good. Okay, I'm gonna move this aside. Now on the other side, oh, I got a little something on here. Not sure how I did that. There we go. I'm gonna do home, home sweet home. Now if you'd like to, you could do the windmill for the owl. I thought about doing that, but it's like, no, I'm just going to use the words as is. So, once again, you start your transfer. Sometimes I get a little tricky. You peel it off, your backing, and you want to fuzz them to take some of that stickiness. You know, that's, it's, it's sticky. You want to take a little bit of that tack off. And because that does have a slight texture to it, <clears throat> you won't need to fuzz it too many times. A couple should be good. All right. And once again, I'm going to put this on my surface. That's how that side would look with the board and base. Now, this is stained of brown wood. You could paint this if you'd like to. Now, I'm going to do the same thing as I did with this side. I'm going to flip it over. So I can try to center this. Now, if you like to measure, you want to be very precise, you are welcome to do that. I have a tendency to just eyeball everything. But if you like everything to be symmetrical or even, by all means, you can, you can measure. I think that one looks good. So I'm going to do the home suite up here. All right, like that there. I'm going to smooth that out. We don't want any air bubbles or lumps or bumps or wrinkles. And I think I am going to slide this up just a bit. There we go. In the center, up, down, side to side. Smooth out with your hands. If you'd like, you can use your squeegee to make sure that you have good contact. And I was torn if I wanted to do this all in gray or if I wanted to do it in eucalyptus. And I think I'm going to do it all in eucalyptus. Let me get the fuzzing cloth out of the way and I can take that off my base. And seeing that this is going to be all one color, this will go by fairly quickly. You just take your squeegee, the double edge, a 
apply your paste generously on there. So that way you have good coverage. You can always take the excess off. In those paste packets, you will receive quite a bit of paste, enough to do your project plus some. And then, with that bevel edge, you scrape off the excess till you see the design coming through. And that way you know you have good, even coverage. Cap on, minimize drawing, and now it's time for the peel and reveal. You start at the corners, and you slowly lift up. Another reason why you want to slowly lift up is in case you missed a spot, you can lay it back down and touch it up. That one looks good. Did I forget the S? No, oh, I might have forgot part of the S and the T. See, I pulled up a little too soon. I should have started. Okay, and there we go, and there's the home. So I pulled that up a little too quick. I got my T there, and I got a little part of my ass, but I'm okay with that. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this is somewhat dry. And then I'm going to put it in my base. Now if you'd like to decorate the base, you could do that, and that's how that would look. I think that is just absolutely cute. And then you have your piece of art on the other side. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration of what it is that you can do with March Club Transfer. And like I said, I will have in the description box all the information with a link that gives you the information and where you can sign up to become a Club Couture member and also an editable shopping cart with some of the, the uh, materials and supplies from Chalk Couture that I did use. Thank you for watching.